In response to a question about voltage levels for the multimode VCA, uh, to demonstrate that, I will be using a maths set at 5 volts output envelope uh, into the O tool so you can see the envelope and then a just a triangle wave running into the multimode VCA. So starting maths, you can see your envelope in red and the output waveform in green and adjusting the maths level it follows. So here at 5 volts, which is a pretty low power envelope, if you want more level, adjust the bipolar VCA control, and it will give you out to 10 volts from 5 volts, so a gain of 2. Now if you set maths to 10 volts peak-to-peak -peak output, You can drive it, overdrive it pretty easily, or still be able to have usable range down below. Right here I have a patch set up with the multimode VCA set up in bipolar mode. Channel B is being controlled by the inverse of channel A, and the inverted signal, actually no, this is uninverted right now to show you first is being normal to be. So plugging into a sawtooth wave. So right now it's just a VCA and it's basically not doing anything at all even though it's passing through the circuitry because we are just looking at a square wave biased per perfectly giving us the input equals output on either way. So you know there's your basic VCA. That is now a voltage-controlled attenuverter, or bipolar VCA. So it's changing the polarity every wave cycle from on that square wave. This is a demo patch using a triangle wave going into the O tool out into the multimode VCA and back to demo the sweep of the knob and the clipping. So this is in linear in X fade mode, cross fade mode. So there's Unity at halfway and it's off and with cross fade off. That's clipping. There's a 5 volt peak to peak input signal. Clips right there and starts, well, really clips there. But here's the threshold of clipping. Exponential mode is a little bit different. Exponential mode also ignores this switch. You get quite a bit more drive. And that's where the mode, the, the knob peaks out. Now this is adjustable on the back, so you can get a little bit more than this out of the knob. I don't think I adjusted my prototype yet. So with 
saturation on at the minimum knob setting. It just barely saturates. I'm turning this up. This is a patch with a square wave out from the PDO into the Hadron Collider set up as a four-pole low-pass filter running into the multi-mode VCA being monitored by the O-Tool. So I'm going to go through saturation, but here is the clean waveform. <laughs> Turning saturation on, still all the way down. Clean. You can hear a little bit of clipping at the rails. That's the MMVCA clipping at 20 volts peak to peak. So here's a patch using the PDO as an oscillator running through the Hadron Collider as a filter, which is disabled right now, into the VCA just to show you the raw waveform unfiltered. Adding some filtering.
you don't get quite as much level out of linear unless you're in this mode. In blend mode. Thank you. 